Welcome back to part two of the lesson on writing linear equations in general form to represent applications. Let's look at our next example. I've invested money into two mutual funds. Fund A earned 6% interest during the first year, while fund B earned 8% interest. At the end of the year, he received a total of $774 in interest. Part A, we're asked to write a linear equation in general form to represent this situation. Clearly indicate what each variable represents. Notice how in this situation we have two unknowns. We don't know how much money is in fund A, which earned 6%. We also don't know how much money is in fund B, which earned 8%. Let's begin by assigning the variables. Let's set A equal the amount of money in fund A. where the units would be dollars. And we'll let B equal the amount of money in fund B. The amount of interest earned from fund A would have to be 6% of A, the amount of money in fund A. So we can write this as 6% times A plus the amount of money earned from fund B, which earns 8%, would be 8% times B, the amount of money in fund B. So 8% times B, and the total interest earned is $774, and therefore this must equal $774. When writing the final equation though, we want the percents to be written as decimals, and we'll also drop the units. 6% is equal to 0 0.06, so we'd have 0.06a plus 8% as a decimal would be 0.08, so plus 0.08b equals 774. This would be the linear equation in general form that represents the given situation. Now in part b, if Ivan invested $8,500 in fund A, how much did he invest in fund B? So they're telling us that A is equal to $8,500. We want to determine how much is in fund B. So we'll substitute 8,500 for A in our linear equation. So we'd have 0 0.06 times 8,500 plus 0.08B equals 774. 0 0.06 times 8,500 is 510. So we have 510 plus 0.08b equals 774. Now we'll solve the equation for b. The first step is to isolate the b term, so we'll subtract 510 on both sides. Simplify. This would be zero, so we have 0.08b equals 774 minus 510 is 264. Last step, divide both sides by 0 0.08. This simplifies to one B or B, so B is equal to 264 divided by 0 0.08, which equals 3,300, which means I have invested $3,300 in fund B. Let's look at a second example where one of the funds has a loss. Kim invested money in two mutual funds. Fund A earned a 6% profit during the first year, while Fund B suffered a 3.5% loss. At the end of the first year, she receives a total of $177 in profit. Again, we don't know how much money is invested in Fund A, which earns 6% profit, or how much money is in Fund B, which suffers a 3.5% loss. We'll begin by defining the variables. So again, we'll let A equal the amount of money in fund A. And again, the units are in dollars. And we'll let B equal the amount of money in fund B. Fund A earns 6%, and therefore the profit from fund A would be 6% times A, the amount of money in fund A, 
So six percent times A plus. Now fund B suffers a loss of 3.5 percent, which means the return would be negative 3.5 percent. So the loss from fund B would be negative 3.5 percent times B. And the result is a profit of $177. So this is equal to $177. Now let's write our final equation by converting the percentages to decimals and also dropping the units. Six percent is equal to 0 0.06. So the first term is 0 0.06A. Notice here we're going to have plus a negative product. Adding a negative is the same as subtracting a positive. So let's write this as minus 0.035B equals 177. This is the linear equation in general form that represents the given situation. In part B, if Kim invests $3,650 in fund A, how much did she invest in fund B? So they're giving us that A is equal to $3,650. So we'll perform substitution for A in our equation and solve for B. Performing the substitution, we would have 0 0.06 times 3,650 minus 0.035B equals 177. 0.06 times 3,650 is equal to 219. So we have 219 minus 0.035B equals 177. For the next step, we'll isolate the B term by subtracting 219 on both sides. Simplifying, this would be zero. So we have negative 0.035B equals 177 minus 219 is equal to negative 42. Last step, divide both sides by negative 0.035 to solve for B. The left side simplifies to one B or B equals negative 42 divided by negative 0.035 is equal to 1,200. So now we know Kim invested $1,200 in fund B. I hope you found this helpful.